We were talking about the fact that our, our journeys are quite similar in yeah. the sense that mm -hmm. we start out quite naive, believing you know everything that we've been told as young people. And you also have connections with other love interests. The Tom and Hester relationship mm -hmm. couldn't be too far that way and couldn't be too far that way because we wanted to, the audience to understand that there was a sort of a subtlety to the connection that was growing between the two of them. We probably take my PlayStation. <laughs> I still play this really old PS2 and I feel yeah. like oh. thousands of years into the future if I could just dig up my old PS2 <laughs> and play like Spyro the Dragon. Oh cool. yeah. What would you like the world to see and those interpretan a Tom y a Catherine Valentine. Así que vamos a ver qué tal la película. Okay, so guys, so um, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> could you describe uh, shortly your characters, please? Could I right now, you mean? <laughs> Catherine yeah. is um, all stop. You go, my lady. Because Catherine is the lady, and she is much like Tom, in yeah, a way. Kind of less so privileged, less luxury, but in a but bubble. Yeah. We see and everything that goes along with that. Yes, well, Tom is an apprentice historian. He works in the London Museum and basically has to go down to the guts of London and try and salvage as much old tech that London has kind of eaten of other towns in order to furnish the museum with more and more stuff. And it's kind of, it's a passion of his, but it's not the passion. I think someone who's been kept cooped up on this kind of prison castle uh, has d dreams of leaving and dreams of the outside world. You know, it's, it's so human and he does. And I think then when he gets his wish, he's not fully sure if he wanted it, you know, he's sure if it's, if it's how he envisioned it, it's like, it's quite scary and terrifying. Okay, so what kind of relationship did Tom and Catherine have? Because at the beginning I got like, like romantic vibes, but then like Tom was yeah, all over Yeah, you know, a lot of people really. have said that to me. People really? were like, you know, yeah. there's a little chemistry between Tom well, and Catherine. Oh, they're a young boy and girl. There's always going to be chemistry between okay, okay looking Plus young there's, you know, there's the whole class thing, you know, she's a higher class, he's more yeah. like a stable boy, you I know, it's a little bit Catherine saucy. I don't think Catherine really gives him that time of day in her mind, or yeah. she's not thinking about boys, she's too intelligent and, you know, <laughs> she's, she's too also preoccupied. She's very, very, um, she's a great thirst for knowledge, Catherine. She does, That's she really wants to learn, that's why she's at the museum all the time. Something funny or some incident that happened on set that we should know? We did a scene together once where he hands me this kind of uh, futuristic iPad thing and um, mid-scene I put it down and I, I went to put it down and it was super glued to my hand. Very so unprofessional. For a while we had to try and figure out how to unsuper glue the yeah. iPad. There was a lot of there was, there was a lot of uncontrollable laughing. That day there was a lot of rat issues as well. Oh yeah. That what? was our one day dealing with an animal. There's a rat that powers a machine mm. that he makes. Mm. And um, The rat was a diva. The rat didn't really? want to the rat was, didn't want it to act at all. He wasn't want interested in performing. Yeah. He wasn't interested. I was like, listen, there's a lot of rats that would be delighted to be in your position, <laughs> ratty. Now get on with it. Please, I all invite Peruvians. you. All Peruvians. All of you, except you. Not you. No, well, yes, you, you as well. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Come see the movie. Come and see the movie. Because it's brilliant. Yes. And okay. she's in it. <laughs>